We always talk about face primer, eye primer, but I really never hear about lip primers. And I think it's an important subject because everything throughout the day passes through the mouth. Um, food, water, coffee, tea, whatever you want to drink, eat or kiss, I guess, anything you want to do really. And I think it's important to have a really good long lasting product because like me, I hate reapplying throughout the day. I absolutely hate it. I think it's such a waste of product. <laughs> and it's just, I don't want to have to carry something that might melt off my face or that might melt in my bag or that might melt somewhere else. If you have an event or if you don't have access to anything to retouch your lips. So today I will be talking about lip primers and what I actually think about them. So I will be uh, tr trying and testing out into this video one specific uh, lip primer, which is the MAC Preppers Primer lip primer uh, from MAC Cosmetics and I've been testing it out since I did my MAC haul which is a while ago um, maybe a month and a half or two and I wanted I tested it out throughout the day with different formulas basically what is a lip primer do is it really moisturizes your lip um, it preps it for the makeup application it will make the lipstick last longer and it's gonna create a smooth canvas for the application which means that the color will be more even on your lips so that's the purpose of the lip primer as if you would say a, a primer for the face for the foundation your foundation will look better if you have a primer under it some people are kind of skeptical about lip primers and primers in general we're gonna test them out not only on my lips but on my hand with some swatches and stuff so just to show you what it looks like with a primer. So we will go straight into the lip primer. Of course, this is the MAC one, but they are really affordable ones that you can have on uh, the drugstore. But this, the reason why I like it so much is because it really prevents cracking from a liquid lipstick, which is important. Uh, it moisturizes the lip. And when it dries down, it's really moisturizing, but there's a sticky feeling like a regular face primer, which means that it will grab into the pigment that you put on top of your lips and it's gonna make it last longer. And what I usually like to do is I overline my lips with the lip primer since I go over with my regular lip pencil or my liquid lipsticks to make sure that everything is primed, even the lip liner. Sometimes, depending on the lip primer, it can also add dimension to your lips um, and this one, I really like it because look at when you look at my lips after applying this, it looks absolutely better. Um, my lips look smoother and I would literally just wear this on its own, to be honest. I'm going to be applying my lip liner from MAC, which is the uh, Boldly Bare from MAC Cosmetics Lip Pencil. And also when you glide a lip pencil on top of the lip, uh, the lip primer, especially this one, the pigment seems to be brighter. You don't need to apply as much on your lips for the pigment to show up and you don't need to press as hard. It's really a really smooth glide application. All right, lip pencil is applied and as you can see when I do this with my lips, it sticks to each other and this is the lip primer that's what it does and as you saw the lip pencil went on really easily it looks really nice it looks almost very natural which makes it seem as it was already part of my lips today I was feeling always neutral and because I had a lip gloss earlier so this is gonna be the powder kiss lipstick in reverence and I'm gonna be applying it right here on my hand which when I apply it on my hand you know, it is a little bit more, I would say, um, powdered down. It doesn't look as pigmented as if I would put it on the lips. And usually these powder kiss lipsticks, they are not one swipe pigment. Usually you need to apply a couple of layers so um, it looks really pigmented. So I'm going to go straight into my lips as you will see. The pigment really shows up a lot with that lip primer. And it's kind, it kind of like stick to the place where you placed it, but not as hard as you would think. It doesn't stick so it doesn't move anymore and it looks patchy. It just sticks there um, when it sets and then it's going to really look pigmented. If I take my finger and I rub it, it does remove a little bit of the product, but it is quite still there. You know, it blends in very easily and I would 
uh, drink coffee, I would drink into cups, I would drink into bottles, and lip primer would last longer. The lipstick would also feel better on my lips. I'm gonna talk about a lip balm versus lip primer because a lot of people are gonna be like, okay, well, I have a lip balm, it's like a lip primer. Well, these are two different, totally different things. Um, it's like you're taking a moisturizer versus a primer for your foundation. It's completely different things. So the lip balm, so there are multiple lip balms. You have, for example, one that is very hydrating and slippery um, from Burt's Bees, for example. Or you have um, ones like these, the Blistex, for example, that will be good for if you have really cracked lips um, that has mint in it. Um, there's multiple lip balms that you can have, but if these specifically will be to really um, repair your lips, moisturize them, and that's about it. There's no long lasting power in it and it's not gonna grab the pigment onto your lips. Though the lip primer does all of these things. It's long lasting and it becomes a little bit sticky on the lips just as eye primer or face primer. And it creates really a smooth canvas which is kind of dried it down. The lip balm might create a smooth canvas but it's not gonna be sticky and it's kind of like gonna move. And the problem with this is your lip is not gonna look good if it slips around too much. And the lip primer will also make the color very even on your lips compared to uh, the lip balm. What I notice with a lip gloss for example, if I apply the lip primer and then I apply the lip gloss on top, it does last longer. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you on my hand up close what it does. I'm gonna take the lip primer and the lip primer is gonna be at the top here. I don't know if you can see the shine, but there is a little bit of a shine. I'm gonna wait for a second to let it um, dry down a little bit so it becomes sticky and then we'll apply the lip gloss on one side which is this one. There's not gonna be any any primer and there is some primer. All right, so it is now sticky and I'm gonna be applying the lip gloss on one side. So I am applying it where there is no um, primer. And this one is the Dazzle Glass Lip Gloss from MAC. And then here I'm applying it with the lip primer. So what I notice on my hand when I apply it, this, the top one is the one with the primer and the, the lower one is the one without the primer. When you go into onto the primer, it is easier to glide on the lips, very easier to apply compared to the other one. And I will try to smudge it. So we will try with the lower one first. So I smudge it twice. So that is the bottom one smudged. Then I go with the top one. The top one is still smudged, but the pigment by itself, the gloss is still there. And even wearing it throughout the day, I would, you know, really see the difference between having the lip primer under my lip gloss and if I had the lip primer it would last way way longer. So if you have more mature lips, if you have a lot of cracks, if you have a lot of things like this on your lips, um, I highly recommend you having a lip primer. It's really gonna make them look way better and that's why I always do. I have a lot of chapped lips all the time and this really helps me um, because I don't want to have to remove my lips throughout the day to put balm or some moisturizer and the problem with you're gonna see lip stains is if you have a lot of cracks the stain is gonna crack uh, is gonna the pigment is gonna go into your cracks and it's gonna be darker so it's not gonna look as smooth and to avoid these things if you still want to wear a lip stain it is the best possible trick is to put a lip primer under it and I highly recommend this MAC Preplus Prem one. It is really, really good. More on the pricier side. I don't exactly remember the price, but it is really good. And if you don't want to have to reapply throughout the day and you still want to have some pigment, this is this lip primer will definitely be for you. And you can also test uh, some from the drugstore, some more high hand. It just, I know that the MAC one works. So that's why I'm recommending this one. Even if I rub my lips together, the pigment doesn't really go anywhere. So that's what it is. Um, I wanted to talk about lip primers today, give a little bit of love for lip primers because it's not really talked about and I truly think it is important. If we prep our eyes, if we prep our face, we should also prep our lips because super important, lips are 
plumpy, juicy, and we want them to look good as long as possible throughout the day. So um, that is what it is. That is my video on lip primers. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below about lip primers or anything and which one is your favorite lip primer. And if you like the video and you want me to do more of them, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing so you can view more of this content on different makeup things <laughs> makeup tutorial makeup products and everything and also hit the bell if you want to be notified every single time that i post a video which is monday through friday um every single week so i really really love you beauties and i will see you in the next one bye beauties